everybody, it's Glenn, and welcome to the Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, and today, we're going to be shaving with something brand new from the House of Mammoth, and it's called Demusi. How is that for a gorgeous label? That, that blue is incredible. So let's um, open this up and take a look at the pour. Here's the pour. Um, this will be available to the public um, tomorrow, Sunday. I picked this up um, at the Maggards meetup, had a great time there and um, scent is beautiful, just beautiful. I get kind of a citrusy cologne scent out of this. So where did the name uh, Demusi come from? Well, I'll tell you. On the small Italian island of Pantelleria, midway between Sicily and Tunisia, small stone constructions dot the landscape. They're a type of property unique to the island traditional stone buildings that have stood for far longer than a millennium. House of Mammoth's Demusi seeks to capture the simplicity and community of life in a difficult landscape, where instead of mastering the land, humans accepted it and allowed themselves to be just another scrubby pine, trickle of rainwater or stone stacked in a wall. So here are the notes. Blood orange, Sicilian lemon, woody herbs, white lily, Aleppo pine, watery accord, and cool earthy stone. So for our shave today, we're going to use uh, an Il Marchese brush. Uh, I picked it because it came from Italy. Uh, as well as the color matches the label pretty closely. So we're going to do that. We're going to be using a um, Rex Envoy razor. It is loaded with a uh, shark blade on its third and final use. Uh, I'm going to whip that lather up in a beautiful Rodak bowl. So let's get the lather made and I'll be right back. Okay, lather is done. Face is wet. I'm going to use some Subtle Art Soap Company Citrus Pre-Shave. I've got about, uh, I guess I've got two and a half days of growth. A little more water. Okay. So here is the the Musi lather on the brush. I would call that beautiful. Onto the face. So it was a real thrill to meet Ben from Mammoth Soaps at the Maggard Meetup. Met a bunch of people. I'll flash some uh, pictures up for you to see. So, medium off of the puck and a little above medium on the face. I do get that blood orange, that citrus very fresh.
refreshing too. And um, performance, I'm sure, is going to be just like all of the other soaps from the House of Mammoth. Okay. Just wet the razor. And here we go. Beautiful. Very slick. Fantastic. Scent is very unique to me. For sure, this will be one of my favorite um, soaps from the House of Mammoth. So I took my wife with me um, to the meetup. She didn't actually go to the meetup, but she was with me. We stayed in a great bed and breakfast. Let's get um, some soap on for the second pass. And we stayed a few days and um, actually got to see a couple of great things in Michigan. We went to Dearborn and we saw the Henry Ford Museum, which is an amazing place. I never considered that a destination, but you know what? It really is a destination. So I spent a day there. We spent the next day at uh, the Ford assembly line and saw F-150 trucks being assembled. Pretty unbelievable. I must say. So it was a great couple of days. Okay, pass number two. I am truly a uh, Mammoth Soaps fanboy. I have many of them and can't say there's a dud in the bunch. So Ben, you uh, knocked it out of the park with this one. So before we uh, undertake pass number three, it is time for you know what?
That's right, it's time for a shout out to a fellow YouTube content creator. And today, it's Tobin's Throwbacks. Love, love, love Tobin's channel. Um, straightforward, no nonsense. He tells it like it is. He gives you um, a great deal of I'm gonna say useful information about the items that he um, uses. And he usually does um, shave reviews out in the wilderness, just beautiful scenery. Uh, Tobin, I love what you do, continue doing it. And this shout out is for you. If anybody hasn't seen Tobin, uh, in the description of this video, I left a link, so please use that and give him a look-see, okay? Tobin, thanks. Love you long time. Okay, let's do pass number three. A little water. The weather uh, in southeastern Pennsylvania today is absolutely gorgeous. It is sunny, uh, mid 70s, just a light breeze, and it's the kind of day that makes you happy to be alive. Mm. And using this Demusi soap. That makes you happy to be alive, too. Really, don't miss this one. I couldn't be more enthusiastic about it. Mm. Luscious. Number three. And I am still practicing with my straights. Really enjoying them. I'll post a few videos um, later in the month on my progress. But I have to say I enjoy both both the straights and the DE. There are many people gung-ho about one or the other, but I think there's room to enjoy both of them. I use a straight when I have plenty of time. And I use a DE when I don't have an overabundance of time. Because as you know, the straight does take some work. Stropping. Keeping the blade maintained but a great skill to learn and very enjoyable. Okay, so let us see how we did. The residual slickness, by the way, is pretty amazing. Very, very nice. A couple of my usual spots, so we'll take care of them right now. Okay, calling this done, and it is a definite BBS shave. So, if you've been watching my channel, you know we do not waste any of that lather, 
that might be left in the bowl or the brush. We get it on the face one more time. And we do that for a couple of reasons. One, it smells great and you can enjoy that scent a little longer. Two, it's good for your face. And three, if you missed any areas, you can easily find them this way and take care of them. So nothing missed, ready to rinse it off. Okay. Absolutely great shave. All right. So now it's time for some Quinn's Witch Hazel. And this is a grapefruit orange. That will go very well with a Demusi. That is so nice. I hope you're all having a uh, great weekend. And certainly uh, in southeastern Pennsylvania, the smoke is gone and we're outside and uh, enjoying the weather. All righty, time for a splash. If this is anything like the soap, it's going to be heavenly. Oh my God. How good is that? You know, I get, I get the stone now. I get that stone scent. Just beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, a quick recap. The Musi from House of Mammoth. Splash. Use the Rex Envoy razor loaded with a shark blade. We use some pre shave oil from Subtle Arts and some Quinn's. It was a wonderful shave. I enjoyed it. Thanks so much for um, tuning in. Hope you're having a great weekend. And we'll see you soon. Love you guys. Take care.